Oh no, it's, okay, it, it's working. Hello, lovely people of the internet. Welcome back. It has been a long time since I filmed, actually, and an even long time since I showered. And the pub seat today, which I'm super excited about because that means, look, we have a bunch of fancy computers and editing equipment and cameras, and I'm going to be in here editing a lot. I just finished filming a video yesterday. But a Gilfordian, which I will link to for any of y'all want to see that once I finish editing. I have not started yet. That's my updates. Um, so as a lot of y'all know, since I won't stop big and talking about it, I went to China. My friends have been getting really bored of me sharing these stories with them, so I decided to share you them with you. So I talked about this in my last video, but I'll talk about it again because why not? I love to talk. Where my school was in China, which was in Kunming, was a very Ford fashion school, and as you all could probably tell from my wonderful outfit today, I am not a fashion forward thinking type of person. So one day I went to class and I decided to switch my clothes up a bit. I was trying to, you know, rethink my look. I put on like these thick blue pants and this cute red t shirt. <laughs> I got on the bus, I went to class, and the first class was fine. Next class period, another professor came in and she freaked out. <laughs> because she thought I was wearing pajamas and she was very confused and it was very sad because I wasn't wearing pajamas. I was just in comfy clothes, I guess. <laughs> but I don't feel so bad because that happened to a couple other of my classmates, so maybe it's just a cultural thing. One weekend I was staying with my homestay grandparents and they were super sweet except this was very early in my stay, and they didn't speak English, and I didn't speak Chinese, so we just did a lot of non-verbal communication. And for the most part, I just stayed in the apartment and did work. Except one time, she decided to take me outside. I was so excited to see the sun, I jumped out of the car and ran to the sunlight, and my grandmother freaked out, and she grabbed me and pulled me back into shade. And then for the rest of the park, she decided she needed to walk behind me with an umbrella so that I wouldn't get tan because apparently Chinese women are not allowed to be tan, they have to be very pale. So sadly, even though I was outside, I could not enjoy the sun, which I so desperately wanted to. One weekend, my host mom had a hometown friend who was getting married, and they decided to take me to the wedding, which I was super excited about. After like going crazy and buying one of her dresses because I had nothing to wear, <laughs> we went to this wedding and the dinner was a little awkward because I couldn't have that much of conversation, but it was fine. The wedding was sweet. I got to meet the bride and groom. But then, for the after party, they decided to do KTV, which is karaoke television. And we don't really have an equivalent here in America, but it's this huge building dedicated to karaoke. So we arrived there, and then all the guests decided that I should sing. Basically, they kept saying, oh, let the white girl run sing, which is foreigner. And I was like, no, no. And they're like, yes, yes. We want to hear American songs. We want to know what songs from America are like. So I freaked out and eventually I decided to sing the American songs. So I chose to sing Taylor Swift, Pink, and Kelly Clarkson because they wanted America. I was going to give them America. They were a little disappointed. Another homestay I stayed at was out in the countryside and it was so beautiful. But we had no electricity or plumbing. And this wasn't a problem because a typical like farm life where you just wake up when the sun rises and as soon as sunset you went to bed. But trust me, you're exhausted and ready to go to bed at 8 p.m. The problem was was toilets. So we had an outhouse equivalent of a toilet. It was a walled up area around a hole in the ground where you go to the bathroom. Except at nighttime, to make sure animals didn't get into it because it's kind of smelly, they would lock it up. So at night time, what we had to do was have family pee time. I didn't know this was happening. My grandmother ordered me to walk out of the house, so I followed her and the family. And then the next thing I knew, the whole entire family just squatted in a field with their pants off. And I was like, what do I do? Until she beckoned for me to squat down with her. So there I was, squatting in a field next to grandma, and they all peed together. It was great. Actually, no, it was really embarrassing, but I did feel like I was part of the family, which was very honorable. And those are all my mini stories. Um, more of the story is, no matter where you come from, everyone has to pee, and you'll find a way to pee, no matter what. <laughs> Yay! That or just, um, enjoy your time in the sun. All those weird stories aside, I really did love 
my time in China and I am so grateful for the host families that took me in and took me on their wing and showed me what the pride that they and love they had for their hometowns. It was an amazing experience. That's all. I won't bug you all anymore about stories from China. Talk to you later. Bye.